The Special Operations Force Combat Assault Rifle, known as the SCAR, is one of today's most recognizable automatic rifles. Developed by Belgian arms company FN Herstal and tailored specifically for the needs of SOCOM, the SCAR has earned its place as one of the favorite weapons among the Special Forces community due to its reliability, customization features, and numerous variants. Packed with customization options, the SCAR's versatility shines through, allowing operators to easily adapt their rifles for any mission. Available in two main variants, this rifle offers troops the flexibility to choose the firepower they need for specific operations. With so many features, the SCAR has become one of the most desired rifles by elite units worldwide. The Competition In 2004, the United States Special Operations Command, known as SOCOM, requested a modular assault rifle family focused on a design that employed two different calibers for different uses, but with identical ergonomics and interchangeable parts. It was dubbed the Special Operations Combat Assault Rifle, abbreviated as SCAR. In November 2004, Belgian arms company Fabrique Nationale Herstal presented its two designs to the U.S. military. FN Herstal's SCAR family of weapons included the SCAR-H, or heavy, 7.62mm rifle, and the SCAR-L, or light, chambered in a 5.56mm NATO cartridge. Both rifles featured almost the same parts and a single unique design tailored for American special operators. In addition, the Belgian company presented the EGLM, or Enhanced Grenade Launcher module, for both variants of the SCAR. The 40mm grenade launcher was developed to complement the SCAR, but could also be used as a standalone system. In 2007, the U.S. Army announced a competition between the FN SCAR-L, the M4 carbine, the German-made HK416, and XM8 rifles. Over 6,000 rounds were fired in several environments and conditions, with the SCAR proving its worth alongside the HK416. Although the SCAR nearly replaced the M4 as part of the individual carbine competition, the Army cancelled it before declaring a winner. Similarly, another variant of the SCAR was close to winning the Marine Corps Infantry Automatic Rifle Competition, but lost against the German HK416, dubbed the M27 by the military. Nevertheless, the SCAR had much to offer, and would make its way to the American Special Forces Circle. Jack of all trades. In October 2010, SOCOM approved full-rate production for the SCAR-H and its EGLM grenade launcher. Furthermore, SOCOM approved a newer variant of the SCAR, the Mark 20 sniper model. The SCAR-L was dropped as the military did not envision the rifle replacing the M4 carbine anytime soon. Over 900 SCAR rifles were delivered to SOCOM, which have since then become a standard rifle employed by American Special Forces. Some of the highlights of the SCAR reside in its customization features. Two Picatinny rails at the sides and two on the upper and lower portion of the rifle allow operators to customize their rifles with many different optics, grips, lasers, cameras, and lights, maximizing its use for a specific mission or tactical need. Furthermore, the SCAR also features customizable barrels, with some enhancing close quarters combat and others increasing the rifle's range and bullet velocity for maximum effectiveness at longer ranges. The overall design allows troops to easily disassemble and clean the rifle in less than five minutes, making the SCAR easy to maintain under harsh conditions. To make the rifle easy to use, ambidextrous controls optimize combat effectiveness, allowing soldiers to reload and shoot from any position, making the SCAR excellent for right-handed or left-handed users. The controls also make it easy for the operator to switch from safety to fire without issues. Trigger reset is also excellent, allowing for a quick rate of fire. The trigger guard is enlarged to provide optimal space for glove users. A big break at the end of the barrel eliminates most of the muzzle rise, resulting in excellent accuracy at up to 400 meters, enhancing the operator's ability to fire quick shots in rapid succession with no recoil. Far and wide. Currently, more than 10 variants of the SCAR are employed by different special forces around the world. The standard variant for the SCAR-L is the FN Mark 16. Its derivatives are based on the 6.5-inch, 10-inch, 14-inch, and 18-inch barrels, each tailored specifically for engagements at close to long ranges. The SCAR-SE subcompact carbine also features a pistol grip and 300 blackout ammunition. The SCAR-H also has its own variants, according to the barrel length, including precision rifles with two-stage semi-automatic triggers and 20-inch barrels. From SWAT to Army Rangers and SEAL teams, the SCAR remains in service with U.S. SOCOM and Special Forces units worldwide, 
including South Korea, Spain, Portugal, Norway, France, and Japan, among others, in Ukrainian hands. In January 2023, Belgium announced it would supply Ukraine and its military with the Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifle in its two variants, the SCAR Light and SCAR Heavy, as part of a 93 million euro aid package to Kyiv. Belgium, among other NATO allies, is committed to helping the Ukrainian army with the latest weaponry available to help the Eastern European country fend off the Russian aggressors, including the founding pillar of every military, the infantrymen. Besides the SCAR, the Belgian government also disclosed the delivery of the Mini-Me LMG, also manufactured by the Belgian company FN Herstal. The Mini-Me is a belt-fed light machine gun generally employed as a saw or squad automatic weapon. Like the SCAR, it has also been adopted by many special forces units worldwide. We'll provide Ukraine with state-of-the-art small arms weapons, vastly improving the nation's arsenal, which currently consists of Russian Kalashnikov variants. Belgian Minister of Defense Ludovic de Donder announced the ammunition and weapon deliveries will be initially delivered by the stocks of Belgium's army, and then by the national defense industry. In addition, Belgium will supply Ukraine with over 80 LMV Lynx vehicles and more than 150 Volvo trucks currently being used by the Belgian armed forces. Improving Arsenal This is not the first time Belgium has provided Ukraine with an aid package since the start of the war in February 2022. Last year, the Belgian government provided Zelensky's troops with an initial military package valued at 90 million euros. In May 2022, some members of the controversial Azov Kharkiv unit, better known internationally as the Azov Battalion, and credited with some ties to far-right groups and neo-Nazi ideologies, were spotted using SCAR and FN F-2000 rifles. The F-2000 is also developed by FN Herstal, and although not as efficient and customizable as the SCAR, is also a powerful addition to some of Ukraine's most elite units. Ukrainian soldiers have also been filmed maneuvering through battlefield landscapes reminiscent of World War I while using customized American M4 carbines and more modern weapons that were completely unknown to Ukraine's army before the war's outbreak in 2022. It's interesting to note that the military has experienced a rapid shift to a more Western-oriented army with the vast amount of supplies it's received from NATO and the United States. From helmets, ballistic vests, uniforms, and other essentials, Today's Ukrainian army vastly differs from the one seen in 2021, before the escalation of Putin's special military operation. For the time being, it remains to be seen if the entirety of the Ukrainian personnel will be issued Western assault rifles to get rid of its Russian small arms. Whichever the case, the SCAR-H and SCAR-L will certainly provide additional firepower to the Ukrainian troops employing them. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Tech channel to discover the latest rifles incorporated into armies around the globe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos.